Hey everyone, it's me, Romy. So, I'm here to do a really a quick recap of The Real Housewives Season 8, Episode 9, Shade for Days. So, yeah, this episode, the Bravo clearly used very deceptive uh, marketing tactics because whatever you saw in order to get you to watch, it was not as animated as they made it seem. So essentially the episode starts off with Shamia, you know, uh, Portia and apparently Candy's friend as well, uh, went to go see Candy and she goes and talks with Candy, Carmen and Todd, <laughs> Todd and Don Juan about what happened last night or at the party. And so Don Juan, of course, interjects about how, oh, well, you know, of course there was a problem because you shouldn't have been there. Portia shouldn't have been there. It was just about Phaedra and why are you guys bringing it up? And of course, Don Juan's interjection and it's like, well, you know, this girl, this is, remember, the Underground Railroad girl who didn't know about that. So, ha ha ha. You know, she is like, you know, let's not slander my friend while she's not here. And... Candy's just like, well, they don't, I don't understand why they're saying anything because it has nothing to do with them type of thing. So we move past that real quick. Next, we have Todd and, what's her name? Phaedra. They finally meet. And again, it's another situation where it's like, there isn't really an issue. They clearly talk through everything in about two minutes. And they come to a resolution where... Todd isn't going to get any money right now because Phaedra's finished product or so didn't come to fruition because she still may put it out type of thing. So I'm like, okay, so what was the point of this again? And they're both laughing at the end. And I'm like, come on, really? So the main thing was this episode was really more so about one of the people, Portia, of course Candy was in the middle of everything, but Portia went to, um, she was the representation for Dish Nation because I think she went to an award show to be the, the red comment, the red carpet commentator. So, of course she had her group around her, including her sister, and Portia's having a hard time because her sister is pregnant, so she can't do everything that she used to do. And Portia is pretty much kind of like, you're my right hand, so you're just going to have to figure it out type of thing. And her sister's like, yeah, no, not for long. And so we get past that. And then, so I know Portia needs to figure out she needs to figure out for herself what she wants to do with her um, life and her career. Because I really think part of it is she has a problem with her sister being pregnant before her. I know that sounds petty, but come on, you guys know it's true. And so I think it's kind of like, yeah, you... You're pregnant, girl, but you can still do this. You can still do that. And it's like, no. But anyway, we move on to Kenya. Actually, her father coming on to the episode. You know, the father that she didn't have much a, a uh, relationship with when she was a teen. Because she apparently moved away. I don't know if we knew this. She moved away when she was young. Uh, girl. When they moved to Texas. Because she went to go live with her family in Detroit, so she actually uh, ran away from home, and her father never forgave her for that. He felt very hurt about that, and so we'll dive into that later, but then after that, we have, uh, before Portia goes and does the hosting gig, uh, what was it? What was it? Oh, Cynthia... You know, she's working on her uh, glasses line. And I'm really proud and happy that it's doing well. And Cynthia can clearly sell a product. So, shout out to her. Then we have Portia. 
who's hosting, and she's having a lot of fun. She's clearly doing a good job, just being personable and uh, talkative, so that's pretty easy. Kim Fields, we see her out at dinner with her, no, not at dinner, just at the restaurant eating with her kids, and side note, her son, her older son, it's so funny because he was, he wanted to uh, put more salt on something. And I was just thinking to myself, I don't think you need more of that. And Kim was like, yeah, 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 no, no, no. Because I was surprised. I thought she would have been like one of those people that's like, salt, that's the devil. <laughs> that type of thing. But anyway, so... Kenya shows her father her house, and he's basically just like the rest of us. So it's like, what? You know, a candy-ism, like, what? But after that, we have Candy, Todd, and Cynthia, and Peter. They all go out to eat. And, you know, they just talk, have a general conversation about how um, things were at her party. And she was, no some of the issues and one of the things is candy and todd want to go in the restaurant business but she's like no no guys you're pretty much screwing yourselves over if you do that type of thing without fully saying that to them and so she and candy's kind of like oh i'm a little nervous because if it, it we'll see what's happening to them i don't want that to happen to me and todd but anyway we skip to Cynthia going, uh, having her photo shoot, photo shoot, having her eyeglass wear appreciation party, and all the girls show up and support her, and of course they look great and uh, having fun, and so then you have I really like having Sh uh, Shamia on the show, by the way, uh, but anyway, so Don Juan, Carmen are there. And Portia comes and she tries to talk with Candy, but, you know, Candy's click is there, so Portia can't have two words with Candy herself, and so she pretty much storms off, because it's like, i not trying to talk to you, I don't have the problem with you, so why are you guys interjecting so much? And so, Candy doesn't see the big deal about it, but I'm like, what is Candy talking about? Because you guys have a problem. You guys have an issue. And you're just going and instead of handling it, you're letting your squad come behind you and mess things up. Kind of like how they normally do. So after that, we have Kenya talk with her father. And again, this is where he really dives in and just tells her the truth about how it hurt her it hurt him so much when he left uh when she left him and the family to go back to Detroit with her family because he felt like you know I took you from there to Texas and basically you were saying that what I was giving you wasn't good enough and it was like wow and Kenya was just saying how that was eye-opening because they never really had that type of deep conversation before. So we skip over to the last and final scene where we thought we were going to have some drama that never occurred because Candy and Portia, this is how it happened. Candy and Portia, they go out to lunch and they talk. They talk and they say how, you know, I thought we were friends. I thought we were friends. Uh, you know, why were you interjecting with my issues with regarding my issues and friendship with Phaedra and Portia is basically like you know here's the thing I did choose Phaedra's side a little bit more because I felt like Phaedra needed a friend more so than you just as far as needing to have her back a little bit more and can you use like what are you talking about because I need you as much as she did in general. So you just choosing sides type of things pretty messed up. And so long story short, 
the moment when we think Candy blows up on her never really happens. It never really happens the way that we think it happens. It was just literally that, a moment. And afterwards, you know, they both said what they needed to say, and that was pretty much it. They're going to agree to... Uh, they didn't even agree to disagree. They both heard each other out. And it was like, okay, I understand, I understand. And that was pretty much it. I didn't need 11 minutes to talk about this episode. Tell me what you think. It was good. It was nice to actually see the women in their uh, daily lives. And, you know, doing what they do to make money and opportunities. But, eh, there's nothing special about the episode. Next week, it looks like it'll be okay. Again, it was good enough. When you compare it to, like, Love and Ratchet, it's very hard to right now. Nini's coming back, and so that's good. We'll, we'll see when. So please like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think.